When we create a treatment plan, we have to delineate the volume of all sorts of organs that we want to miss or the tumor that we're trying to hit. And that's a very tedious process. So we're leveraging the 3D ability of virtual reality and the new way that we can interact with these images to make that process much quicker and more accurate. Virtual reality has the ability to transport the patient into a completely new environment. And so by doing that, we can in increase the patient's experience in a more positive way by creating relaxation scenes for them or even doing things such as coaching them during their treatment. It can be used for many types of treatments. It has a history of being used in chemotherapy, which we're aiming to do here. As well, uh, we can use it for the treatment during radiation therapy. Usually the infusion takes place over several hours, so you're either lying down or you're in a chair like this. And as the cycle progresses, you're feeling sicker and sicker usually, or weaker and weaker. For example, I, I found it difficult to read. I couldn't concentrate for one thing, and, and it just made me dizzy, so yeah. You could go to the mountains, you could go to a beach, you could, you know, share an experience with somebody that's there having sitting with you while you're going through treatment, whether it's radiation or chemotherapy, and, and that's something that's really special. I think it would just provide a diversion that is really something quite welcome. It's very unique still. It seemed like a great opportunity to increase the ability of our institution to help patients with this technology. So we proposed uh, an application where the students would design relaxation environments for patients undergoing cancer treatment. VR sounds fun and then I heard it was for the hospital I was like even better. I have, I have not used VR or coded for VR until this challenge and so I got it. This is my first time and it was pretty fun, I enjoyed it. <laughs> It's all very well to have any kind of technology or aid for patients and, and their caregivers, but um, until you've actually experienced some of these side effects that are, they're very real and, and they are deal breakers as far as um, having anything that's going to, like, you're going to put it on your head and um, lots of people are dizzy, you know, they don't like the bright colors, you don't want fast motion, you're a bit nauseated. so. You know, I, I think it's very important to have that perspective because, you know, all, all of us have gone through this, so we kind of know what to expect. The winning design was a gentle riverboat cruise where you're trying to find animals around you. I see this type of technology being used for patients all over. Um, if we could get enough headsets then we could have patients doing all sorts of applications while they're uh, in patients. So basically, instead of just having a TV in your room, an iPad that you bring, you could be transported to another environment.